Since 1948, more than 60 Bible prophecies have been fulfilled. More prophecy has been fulfilled since 1948 than in the 1,000 years before then. The birth of Israel on May 14, 1948 and Islamic War the next day was foretold in both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Only the true God can give prophecy. There is no fulfilled prophecy in the Islamic Quran. The prophet Amos said that there would come a time when the exiles of Israel would again have Israel as their own land and that they would never be uprooted again. Isaiah said Israel would be born in one day. The prophet Ezekiel said God would one day bring the people of Israel back to Israel as a united nation. This might have been a shock to Ezekiel. He lived about 2,600 years ago. At that time, the people of Israel had already divided themselves into two separate kingdoms, and both kingdoms had been conquered by foreign invaders who forced many of the people, including Ezekiel, into exile. But when Jews reclaimed sovereignty in 1948, they did so as a united people, creating one nation, Israel. In Leviticus 26, the Bible says that the army of Israel would have a supernatural power to prevail during times of conflict. This Bible passage says that five people would be able to chase away 100 people and that 100 would be able to chase away 10,000. Within hours of Israel's declaration of independence in 1948, Islamic armies of Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Iraq, Mecca, and Lebanon invaded Israel. The combined population of those countries was at least 20 million at the time. Israel had fewer than 1 million Jews. Even so, the Jews won the war and expanded the size of Israel by 50%. During the War of 1967, Israel again defeated the Islamic armies in just six days and took control of Jerusalem. There is important prophecy in the New Testament that exactly gives us these important dates of 1948 and 1967. Matthew and Mark tell us an abomination will stand in the holy place where it should not. Revelation 11 tells us the Gentiles will be given the outer court of the Temple Mount. This abomination is the Islamic Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount. It was constructed between 687 and 691 AD with a midpoint of 688-689. The Islamic writings on the Dome of the Rock blaspheme Christ by saying God did not have a son. The Dome of the Rock also contains on its foundation stone the Mark of the Beast, the Islamic Shahada. It is a true abomination and a marker for other prophecy. Revelation tells us two witnesses, which are the Jewish remnant and Christians, will prophesy symbolically for 1260 days, or literally for 1260 years. The midpoint year of the abomination, 688-689 plus 1260 equals 1948. They would prophesy about God's promise to restore Israel until Israel again had a homeland on May 14, 1948. We are told in Revelation that as soon as they are done prophesying, the beast will attack them. The very next day after Israel's independence, the Islamic armies attacked Israel on May 15, 1948. Revelation also tells us the Gentiles will trample the holy city for 42 months. 42 months is 1278.4 days. The midpoint year of 688-689 plus 1278.4 years is 1967, the exact year Jerusalem was liberated from the Islamic armies. Israel now controls all of Jerusalem. The prophet Daniel told us in the end times, the final Islamic beast kingdom would be comprised of the Babylon and Persian empires. Today we see Babylon being reformed 
out of the Shiite Islamic armies in Iraq and Syria. The Persian Empire is growing out of Iran. This is a very active time indeed. To learn more about Bible prophecy and Islam, see our website at www.revelationnow.org.